I am here with Coach Angelo Graves. How you doing? Good, good. Um, now, you are one of the instructors here, but you're also very busy as a parent here. Yes, yes. I've Explain got, that a little bit. Yeah. I've got four kids here, um, two that are, um, actually three that are on the level five team, and I've got one that's on the uh, level uh, one team, Green Stars. Wow, yeah. good deal. Now, uh, you had... That now you get, you get the four, but you had a fifth. And you I've get, got a yeah. fifth. Yeah, he's he's graduated. He's in he's in college now, so he's he's retired from cheerleading. I got you. Yeah. But now you started out in Missouri, you said. Yeah, started out in Missouri. Uh, we had a gym in St. Louis. There, we were there for almost almost ten years. Wow. Uh, then we moved here um, in 2005, and I opened up my own program um, in 2007. Okay. And we uh, had a really good run there. Closed down 2011, sold that, and then I went back to teaching. Gotcha. Um, my kids wanted to cheer again, so I was like, okay, well, we're going to go ahead and find a gym. And we drove out to McKinney, and we're going to do a kind of a tour of all the gyms in the area. And the kids said, well, Dad, we don't need to go anywhere else. This is just like home. Really? So we uh, basically set up camp here, and uh, I commuted for about, about nine months almost. Mm -hmm. And then we moved here in February. Wow. Yeah, so we, we made the commitment. Uh, Jeff and Diana brought us in like family. Awesome. And it feels like family. Yeah. So we decided to uh, change everything, put brakes on, and we decided to come back in the chair full force. Wow. So that's got to that's kind of feel pretty good to work here then. I mean, you just uh, noticed, you, know, you just mentioned that Jeff and Diana make it feel like family. I mean, yeah. your, your position here, I mean, I, I mean, obviously you seem like extremely, I mean, I see you're very yeah. passionate about what you do here. I love what I do. Um, and for me, it's my life call. You know, I, 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 I feel like it's uh, something that I was, you know, born to do. Um, I love kids. I love seeing them fulfill their dreams, but at the same time teaching them what I know, and it helps them get better every day. So my main goal is to just you know do what I can to make sure that they're happy. Right, right. Like I said, I mean, I, I was watching you do the private over there, and I mean, you're, you're very, like I said, very passionate about the privates. And yeah. Is that, now, where did your cheer background come from? Um, actually, uh, cheered in high school, uh -huh. um, and uh, did a stint with UCA for a, a short term, and then jumped right into ownership when I was 20. Wow. Um, so my wife and I, we opened up a gym in St. Louis, and like I said before, and um, pretty much the rest is history. So I've been a cheer coach for a little over 20 years. Wow. Good deal. It seems like, seem like you got a great group of kids here. I mean, I've been you know here for a couple hours and spoke to many of them. Uh, I mean, yeah. they're I mean, a very outgoing, very friendly bunch here. I mean, um, yeah. kind of go into a little bit about what, what kind of kids you have here at Coast Spirit. Well, from what I've, when we first moved here, um, not really sure what we were going to get, but the kids were welcome. Mm -hmm. um, and it was really important that we went to a gym, that the kids love what they do. Mm -hmm. But I think it's kind of a testament to what Jeff and Diana have, you know, kind of showed. I, it was a, a lot of respect. Um, yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. That's what stood out to me the most. The kids were very respectful of their coaches, and it made it easy for me to come in and help the kids out. Awesome. Good deal, Way. Well, hey, we appreciate your time. Thank you.